All right, everyone, welcome back. So, what are my overall thoughts on the Yamaha? Why did I buy it and everything else I'm going to answer in this video. But if you could, if you guys could, one favor, this video like. Really appreciate that. Thanks. Okay. Now, why did I get the type of oil that I did, and what brand, and why? Why did I get that? Well, it went back about a year and a half ago when my brother had his Yamaha. We beat the hell out of that thing. We put it through hell and back. You know, we we broke a lot of crap on it and. It lasted a long time. It still will be here, but we kind of grenaded the dry shaft when we were trying to bump start it. I'm a dummy for trying to do that. But, um, so what is, why'd I get that? Why'd I get a Yamaha? Put your helmet back, like the brand. On to the next question that you guys might have. What are my thoughts of it on it breaking on the first ride? So, I would have videoed it, but I didn't want to. I wanted to see how it felt because the guy lived in town and the tires were flat on it. You've seen how cracked up the tires were. They're, they're pretty much crap. So, that's why I didn't, why I didn't actually drive it and test drive it in town. Um... Once I got out here, I took the ditch, you know, turned around, came on the racetrack, came back this way. As I was going through the woods to go back up to the driveway, go through the ditch again, it quit on me. And, uh, well, we got started back up, drove it up the hill, parked it where it was filmed, and we couldn't get it back started after we took a look at everything and figured out and trying to figure out why it died. Now, when we did get to the guy's place that was selling it, he did say that it needed a carb clean, and he didn't say that when we were texting back and forth the night before. That was Friday night when we were texting. We bought it Saturday, filmed Saturday night, posted it Saturday night, Sunday. I washed it off real nice Saturday night. Sunday, I... Uh, Looked at everything when it was all clean, cleanish, and uh, just kind of made a list on everything that needs to be done to it. Like, a lot of stuff needs to be done to it. Most of the stuff I could have done myself, but I didn't really feel comfortable doing it myself. And when the shop does it, it feels right. But I mean, it takes a long time for it to get for it to get done. So. That's why it's like that. Now, why, what are my thoughts on it? Am I going to keep it or am I going to sell it? Now, that's a mixed question because I want to keep it, but I also want to sell it. Like, it's really heavy. I don't like how heavy it is. But at the same time, a good heavy four-wheeler means it can tow lots of stuff. And being it's 250 it's not four-wheel drive, so I can't turn it into a mudding four-wheeler, which only leaves one thing to do with it. Put big, big-ass tires on. All right, so I have to make this outro very short, I guess you could say, because my storage space is out of storage. Thanks for watching. Like button. Any questions, comment them down below. Instagram, down in the description. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.